I haven't made a video in a while, but circumstances. But I'm working on a, um, I picked up this, I found this, picked it up, found it. Um, it's a Dakota, there we go. Let's see if I can get a Dakota Porter Drive. What do you call this? Bit driver extension. So it's a quarter on this side and you got a quarter inch drive on this side. So, so a quarter inch breaker bar, but this side, put it in there and you might be able to get like a quarter turn out of it and it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, you can see when I turn it, you can see that, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it turns slightly this quarter drive bit turns slightly but somehow it's locked up um, the seller said they uh, the ebay purchase the seller said they tested it it was fine um, or they thought they did but what i'm trying to do i told them that i would like uh, i would like soak it in some wd-40 or something uh, and he did mention there's a grease port the grease port is like right there i don't know if you can see it it's hard to see, but yeah, the grease port is just above this. You can see just beyond this pin, that little hole right there, that's the grease port. Um, these pins, so I'm basically knocking them out. They're like little pins in there. I thought it was like rivets, but it's not, it's just pins. So you can see they're already, um, this one, I need to knock it some more, but these are about to fall out. So I just put it in my vise here and I'm using the, the cushion um, cushion jaws here to hold it in place and uh, cinch it down so it compresses that rubber and I'll show you what I'm using to punch it out so initially I thought I'll just go with like a roll pin punch um, this is a what a five millimeter it fits in there like I could use it right now to hammer this out. It fits in there, but it doesn't fit in this. Uh, it actually does, it fits in the center here also. So I was just gonna use a little small uh, Proto Enna Vibe here to knock these out. But of course, I don't wanna lose them. So that's why I have that piece of paper towel beneath there to catch it, um, cause I don't wanna lose it. But before I do that, so this is what I, I was using my, I know I have some brass punches, but these weren't, um, this one is too big. Uh, but basically what I started using was this uh, spring tool setup. Gave me an opportunity to use it. Um, and basically what it does, I mean, I just, I started using this one, but the tip was slightly larger for the opening. So I grabbed a uh, smaller version and basically you just pull and it delivers a striking force. So I don't think it's gonna go all the way through, but like for this one right here, I'll show you, see if I can get around the camera. Hold it. And I can see it like driving through. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's, uh, it's definitely, uh, like you can see it right there. We'll try to pull it again. And yeah, I can tell it just drove it all the way through for the most part. So these things, they do come in handy. Um, so that's actually the first time I've actually used those and I have quite a few of them now. But we're gonna use this guy and we're just gonna try to, we're just gonna let it stand on its own in there and the reason I say that is because I want to zoom out here. I want to be able to catch. I want to be able to catch that pin as it falls out. I'm trying to get a camera at an optimum angle or zoom, I guess. So we'll let it stand in there, and we'll just there we go. Didn't need much of a tap, and now I have this pin to reinsert. So I'm gonna go get a, get 
myself a little magnetic tray here and just so I don't lose this precious piece. Um, and I'm do the same thing on this one. Just let it stand, position my hands underneath with a paper towel to assist. All right, that one came through. You can see this. Initially, I was just gonna return it, but the guy said I could, I could try to grease it, and that's when I came in here, and I was like, let me try to see if I can hammer these pins out, because they're pretty much set. So the hope is that this thing is not stripped out. Um, hope is that it's not this one is making me go a little bit more tap more tap work yep yep she's out there you go Good. And so now we have uh, three pens uh, that we can reinsert and as you can see, this thing is all the way through. So now we can uh, undo the vise here. Installing this vise was probably the best thing that I've ever done in recent time. Now the problem is, how do you pry this thing open? The pins are out, so I just need to figure out how to pry to open. Let's see if maybe the the thing is like slightly looser or something and it will turn. Oh, that happened. Well, yeah, no. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more turn out of it. That was a quarter inch breaker bar. Let's try to ratchet just to be able to reverse it. Yeah. Something is going on inside of this unit. And just gotta figure out. This thing has been sealed forever. It's definitely not, not new. And I can tell that the interior portion has, I mean, you, you figure it has this cap right here, so you'd have to pull it off, but it feels like it's mated on the inside. It's just like sandwiched. So these pieces should be able to stay on. I'm not sure. Hmm. Trying to look for any type of like little reveal or anything that would uh, allow me to pry this apart. Um, like whatever gap I could find, I could exploit that gap and pry it apart. Hmm. It's really tough, I don't wanna damage it. there's always an, a hurdle to cross um, and this is one of them because I'm pretty sure this thing just opens up I'm trying to think what's the best way to what's the best way to do this I, I mean I could if even I had a small reveal I could use one of these chisels slide it in there I mean this is pretty thin so maybe I could do this Let's see. Let's grab that jaw right there. I might, like I, said, I might end this video and um, once I have a, a 
plan of attack. I'll come back to it. I'm looking at it and I'm just trying to see where it makes the best sense, where the, the seam is that obvious. And I think it's on this side. The seam is slightly more pronounced. And the idea is I'm gonna use this um, spring tool. I wanna see if I can um, kinda get that chisel to open up. I mean, so find out balance between tightening this thing to prevent it from opening up and prevent it from sliding out. So, yeah, I think if I use this uh, chisel bit in here, let's see. Think about it, it's gonna mar it, so I'm gonna try to keep it in the gap. Ooh, I think I might have gotten somewhere. I felt like some kind of opening happened here. But again, it's a very fine balance between keeping this thing locked in and and of course there. Um, maybe I can just set it on top right there. And if it goes flying, it goes flying. But at least it doesn't have that. I mean, I'd love to take this apart and just find out that it just, you know, it just needs a little bit of attention to get it back in tip-top shape. Um, but you never know. Don't fall. The magnets on these aren't very strong, but they're really good for preventing um, stuff from getting marred up. I definitely feel like it definitely doesn't feel like a strip stripped out suit or anything but it definitely feels like something is there's something separated in there and it's not blocking the mo the motion all right this thing is annoying i've got the pins out we just can't get the see where I was uh, kind of going for going for blood huh um, see if I can lower this slightly in here sit right there yeah, it's not gonna hold anything. It just sits a little bit deeper. I feel like there's some amount of separation going on here. But it's hard to, I don't wanna like, gouge it up too much but like I said I might have to return this if it doesn't work or if it's if I get it apart and I find out it's broken then there's no sense keeping it if I can't fix it yeah I'm starting to wonder if these collars are pressed on or something these little collars right here this, those might be, those might be pressed on. It's so small. I got the shaky hands. Hmm. 
I, mean, I can tell it's opened up some, but it's definitely not as pronounced as uh, you'd like to see in terms of progress. <laughs> when you just don't know, you don't know. And you just try everything. Oof. I will say I like the spring tool. I mean the the edge is not even being marred up. It's like metal on metal. Now, if the owner of this sees it, I know I did say I was just going to soak it in WD-40, but um, the intent is to keep it and you keep the money. So I do apologize if you... You find this this action um, contrary to what you'd have done, but I'll I think I'll also fess up that I was trying to remove it and um, I couldn't separate it. I just got the pins out, so I'll at least do that. But after all. I'm trying to fix an item that came. Not being advertised as is, but being advertised as a functional unit. Anyway, I'm gonna tinker some more with this. I'm gonna leave this video up. And uh, if someone has any solutions or comments as far as how to get this apart, it might just need a little bit more force to get it apart. Um, but I'm gonna soak it in some some penetrating fluid, maybe that's what it needs. And if the pins are out, they'll help, you know, get this thing going. But I'm gonna soak it in some PB Blast or something, WD-40, um, to get it, get it maybe, maybe get the seam loose or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll reinstall it and see if we can, well, first we'll, we'll get it apart. And I don't hear any, any shaking in there. So, I gotta see what's going on inside. I hear a lot of noise. Yeah. Let me go find a container or something to dose this down with some penetrating fluid. As we always say, like an eating.